it's coming home. Well, it almost came home. But one thing for sure that definitely came home this year is this beauty right behind me. The Jaguar E-Pace 2018, a sight for so eyes. If you're looking for sophistication, style, and a little bit of sport, this right here is the car for you. Welcome to another edition of Yala Motor Reviews. I'm your girl, back like I never left, Yvette Kikuyu. talk exterior well the most outstanding feature about this car is definitely its color i mean look at this the electrifying magnetic blue will definitely leave you standing out on the busy dubai roads from the side it comes fully packed with 20 inched wheels and these wheels are packed into an alloy black rim i particularly like the fact that they went for black and not silver because that just lets the electric blue shine in all its glory. From the front, it has LED matrix lights. And on the edge of the matrix lights, it comes with linear daytime running lights. At the bottom, it has fog lights, which I feel are not entirely exhausted in this side of the world. And at the front, it has a mesh grill that has an outstanding large Jaguar logo. I mean, just in case you forgot what you're driving. Now, one particular cute feature that I love about this car is that on the windscreen, it has a nice cute logo of a mama Jaguar and a baby Jaguar, definitely igniting my Lion King memories. How cute is that? Let's talk interiors. First thing that caught my attention is this bar right here. Just gives the driver a nice compact feeling. And of course, it's a subtle warning to the passenger. Don't touch my cockpit. Don't adjust my radio. Don't adjust the AC temperature. Next thing, the instrumental bar. I love digital instrumental bars. And the fact that everything can be accessed from the buttons on the steering wheel I'm talking cruise control, I'm talking media, I'm talking phone access, just makes it a one-stop shop. Next thing that I love is the fact that there's a good blend between digital and buttons. The navigation system, I'm really not feeling that just because I feel you have to keep swiping to get to what you want, but the fact that the buttons such as temperature are easily accessible and you just have to rotate them makes it quite user-friendly. Lastly, but not least, the sound system in this car is heavenly. It will literally make you feel like Beyonce is giving you a solo performance just out of this world. Wanna hear? Like, let's just be honest, this beauty right here is speaking to my soul right now. I am pro minimalism and this right here is minimalist heaven. Like, I like the fact that it's not so busy, very few buttons, you know where everything is, they're labeled aptly, like you would know, AC, volume, adjusting, the instrumental cluster is clean and clear, crisp layout. However, with that being said, we clearly see that it has different elements of leather to give it that touch of class, but they did compromise a little with some plastic in different parts of the car that just doesn't give me the whole esteem that I associate Jaguar with. Another thing that definitely didn't get a check on my list is the color that we have right here. And I'm not feeling the perforated seats, like cleaning this stuff won't be a lot of fun. First impression, I love the fact that when you turn on the car, it doesn't have like a loud vroom, for lack of a better word. It's, the noise reduction is actually quite good on this machine. Secondly, she's very steady on the road. And I think that's partly because she, had a, she has a broader base. So 
that's working for me as well now let's put her through a turn you can definitely feel a little bit of a twist but considering that this e-pace is a hundred kilos heavier than the bigger suv the f-pace the stability is quite good the steering is actually quite small but very smooth i like that kudos jaguar the drive is very impressive now, to answer the million dollar question, will I be taking this beautiful mean machine with me home? Well, to be very honest, I'm extremely conflicted. And hear me out, I have some legitimate reasons. I am the kind of person, when I want to buy a car, it's either you're an SUV or a sedan. And when it comes to my SUVs, I like them big. I want size on the exterior and space on the interior. And for my sedans, I like them small and compact, closer to the ground to make me hit the road running. Now this car right here is a combination of both and doesn't essentially offer me the best of both worlds. From the top, she's narrow, giving me like a sedan vibe and she's broad at the bottom and elevated. However, the verdict for me is she's a sedan on oversized wheels. Lastly, the thing that definitely signed the no-no on the deal is this R-Dynamic HSC starts at a whooping price of 231,420 dirhams. Sorry, very tempting, but not for me.